Unquestionably, the Jeep Wrangler is one of the most iconic vehicles in production today. Along with nameplates like the Volkswagen Beetle and Ford Mustang, it draws on decades of heritage. But it also draws my ire like soggy pakoras on an Indian buffet. Let me explain. Welcome once again to The Skinny, my new editorial series where I get to grouse about all sorts of different automotive topics. I guess I just fancy myself a reincarnation of Andy Rooney, though obviously with much less majestic eyebrows. I know, I know. But anyway, back to the Jeep Wrangler. Few vehicles today are as capable. I mean, maybe a couple Land Rovers can keep up, but that's probably about it. This thing is an absolute beast on trails, climbing over rocks, or slogging through mud. I've had the pleasure of wheeling in a Wrangler on multiple occasions, and it's probably the most fun you can ever have in a vehicle while moving at walking speed. With knobby tires and a toddler's height in ground clearance, it'll go just about anywhere you point it, and if you do get stuck, of course it's got tow hooks and can even be outfitted with a winch. This capability reaches all the way back to 1941 in the Willys MB that started it all. Heritage that's alive and well in today's Wrangler from the squared off fenders, boxy proportions, and live axles front and rear. The DNA is identical. Appropriately, it is incredibly capable, ridiculously authentic, and achingly cool. And those are three prime reasons why Jeep sells so many of them. In fact, Americans drove away with nearly 203,000 copies last year. And therein lies the problem. I'm a big fan of the Wrangler, really I am, but what gets me is that so few people use them for their intended purpose. If I had a dollar for every unlimited model I saw with a stick figure family plastered on its back light, a spotless undercarriage or double parked at Nordstrom's, I think I could probably retire before the end of this video. Commuting to work every day in a Wrangler or using one as a family sedan replacement in suburbia is ludicrous. It's a complete waste of the vehicle's capability. And in fact, I would argue that it is downright un-American. I would build a great wall and nobody builds walls better than me, believe me. Why would you spend big bucks on one of these just to go to the dog park on weekends or drop your kids off at school? It doesn't make any sense to me, but you know, maybe it's just a Jeep thing. I don't understand. Just to reiterate, I have absolutely no problem with this brand or Wranglers. I just take umbrage with the posers that buy them. So if you absolutely have to have one, please take it off road. So there you go, that's the skinny. Once again, I'm Craig Cole. Thank you for watching and remember, you're just as welcome to disagree with me as you are to be wrong.